a leader of the religious Shas party being accused of racism after launching a tirade against Russian immigrants, saying many of them are not Jewish, they refuse to assimilate, and it was a mistake to allow them to come to Israel. Ultra-Orthodox lawmaker Arya Derry told supporters he will demand to be Prime Minister of Immigrant Absorption in the next government. He even joked about DNA checks to make life difficult for Russian immigrants, but he did later clarify that he will not try and introduce DNA checks, but he does promise to change Israel's law of return, which states someone needs only one Jewish grandparent to become a full Israeli citizen. It bothers the Israel Beitenu party, according to their claim, that the Ministry of the Interior checks the DNA of immigrants from the former Soviet Union, from states in the Soviet Union, and makes it difficult for them to immigrate to Israel. I plead guilty. Correct. There is a law of return in Israel. With me now in studio is Alex Kushnir. Alex is number seven on the Yisrael by tenure list running for the next Knesset. He's also the former director general of the Ministry of Immigrant Absorption. Alex, thanks for being here. I want to just get your reaction to hearing Minister Arya Derry's words that these Russian immigrants, tens of thousands of them, they're not real Jews, they're not real Israelis. Listen, first of all, I'm not agree. I, I, I don't agree, agree with you that he was joking, because he was not joking. Maybe afterwards he, step, he take, took a step uh, back, but I see, saw his reaction. He, he's not joking. Okay. That's what, that was what he wants to do. And also, we know cases when our uh, citizens, Israeli citizens with Russian background, are forced to make the DNA test in order to prove their Jewishness when they go to the, to the Ravinat in order to marry or something like that. So, so do you think he would actually do that? I mean, he said he was referencing a, a joke made about, a, a comment made about him, then he said, yes, we would, something we would do, then he said, no, we won't do it. Do you think it's something that's a real fear? It's not about thinking, it's about knowing. Okay. That's what happens now in the field. That's of, uh, uh, some of the uh, Russian uh, Jews in Israel are required to do in order to prove that there are really Jews, in order to get married. So we are good enough to serve in the IDF, we are good enough to defend this country, we are good enough to die for this country, but we are, we are not good enough to get married here, and we are not, not good, good enough to, make, uh, to get buried here. So this is uh, racism of the lowest level that I ever met. And it brings me back to the darkest periods of uh, Jewish history. I want to clarify, especially for our international viewers, this law of return. I mean, if you have one Jewish grandparent, you have the right to become an Israeli citizen. But it's Israel's, the rabbinut, the religious authority, they say you're not a full, true Jew unless you have a maternal parent, you come from a maternal mother, or you were converted by our rabbis, the rabbinut process. That leaves hundreds of thousands of Russians, right, stuck in the middle. Do they have rights? Do they, do, are they protected? What's that like for them living in Israel? Arya Derry has divided us for two groups. One is the better one, and another one is not so good, not so, non, it's like a second class of Israeli citizens, okay. which is, of course, unacceptable in Israeli democracy. And yes, there are Jews who are Jews in the third generation, but they have the exact rights like everybody, and no one can tell them how to live, where to live, what to do in Shabbat, what to eat, and what, and what not to eat. What's the feeling? Some of the, I mean, tens of thousands of families, they cannot marry legally. It's difficult them, for them to get basic government services. Exactly, you're right. So in, in that Knesset, in the next Knesset, we will demand a civil uh, marriage process for all the Israeli citizens, of course. And also this, you know, this demand to uh, take the Ministry of Aliyah and Integration, I can tell you one story. When I was the, min the general direction of the ministry, we uh, approached the Ministry of uh, Negev and Galilee, which is, which is also under Arya Derry, and we asked help to uh, make, make a program to encourage uh, new Olim to come to Negev and Galilee. And of course, we were refused. Mm. So we did it by ourselves. So Arya Derry is concerned about Olim, only if they're Jews or oh. not, but he's not ready to help them at all. Alex, I want to ask about the politics about this. If Yisrael Batenu, you know, crosses the threshold, let's say you get, you know, they get six, seven seats, you're in the Knesset. Yisrael Batenu likely would serve in the coalition again with Shas. You would work together. How could that, how could you do that? There is some, a couple of things that we need to understand. Of course, Israel Beitenu will join only the right-wing uh, coalition. Which Shas likely would be a part of. Maybe, Arya maybe. But we will be the one who will stop the religious dictate in this coalition. You want to be in the coalition government. to be a check, you're saying, to check that, that belief. I can tell you that 
only in, in this Knesset already, uh, Ali, Ayala Chaked wanted to expand the rights of uh, uh, Rabinat, uh, Rabinat judge, yes. judges, and we have we were the one who stopped it. So there are a lot of things that we stopped already in this. Uh, Knesset, and of course we will continue. I want to ask about the most recent polls. Some polls are now saying that Yisrael Beitenu may not cross the threshold. It's, what's your thoughts with one month to go? Are you confident that Yisrael Beitenu will get in? You know, if we would believe in polls, probably we would not get to elections in 1999 and also not in nine, uh, 2015. And also I can tell you that according to the polls, Hillary Clinton is probably the president of the United States. We have a very stable base of our supporters, which are not who are not counted in these internet polls. Yeah, they don't so, do a lot of the SMS texting yes, and exactly. on the internet. So we are uh, confident that we will receive our eight or ten uh, seats in, in the next Knesset, and we will be the power who will make the right coalition also right in uh, uh, actions and not only in words, and also will be uh, may, will make this coalition secular. All right, Alex Kushnir.